Friends, uh, today is Tuesday, November 14, and I'm going to take uh, the second half of yesterday's verse. This is all part of verse 7, A, B, and C, and we're going to look at it all today. Ask and you'll receive, seek and you'll find, uh, knock and the door will be open to you. There's different ways of reading these three requests. Uh, one way that I like is that uh, asking is the questions, and, and it is the um, innocent prayer quest that we have. Um, and Jesus never fails to respond positively to, um, to questions. We will not know everything we need to know to, to be wise and discerning in our lives. We won't be able to under, understand our past perfectly, what our present dynamics and variables are, let alone what the outcomes of those are going to be in the future. And so turning to God in these moments and asking um, for help in our decision making and also in the broader questions we have about life uh, where we just want answers. Maybe not a specific decision depends on those, but we want to understand what's going on around us. We have to forego self-reliance and independence and be willing receivers who are willing to ask. And it's interesting, Jesus did respond well to people who came with questions for him. Uh, and there are, of course, our famous examples there's a dialogue in John chapter 4 with the woman at the well. She had theological questions. Previous chapter, chapter 3, uh, one of the leaders of the Israelites, a, per a person who was on the Jewish council named Nicodemus, he came and he had questions. His questions were about the life beyond life, what, what constitutes eternal life. And so um, deep and interesting question. Jesus always responded well when people asked him questions. And, and that was to indicate that God is willing to respond, help us understand the questions that we have. Now, seeking and finding. Seeking is another aspect of our lives. We all set goals. And our lives are partly defined by the questions we ask, but also by the goals that we seek. And um, in addition, they're defined by the relationships that we pursue. Uh, when we're knocking on the door, we're hoping to get into a home where there are people. Uh, and um, the, the door gets open to it. God, we're prom Jesus promises the door will be open. We'll have an opportunity to have right and healthy relationships. But we have to ask for God's help in establishing those relationships, just as we have to ask for his help in forming our goals. Because the questions we ask, the goals we seek, and the relationships we form, are they really the key to our, our life and to our um, identity? People were knocking on Jesus' door uh, with all kinds of needs and problems and, and wanting to have a relationship with him. From the woman with a perpetual bleed who reached out in the midst of a crowd so she'd be anonymous to uh, the four friends who not only <laughs> knocked on his door, they, they knocked his roof in. He, he was in a borrowed house lecturing and people were in the windows and the doorways were open. They couldn't get to him so they climbed up on the roof where people would sleep in these flat uh, Palestinian homes and they knocked the roof in and lowered their friend down uh, people were knocking on his door and he would stop whatever he was doing at the time no matter how important to deal with human needs when they came to him urgently um, I'm so glad God is available in a crisis let's take some time and pray Lord thank you for being there when all else fails uh, give us the courage to knock to be like the ten lepers who came for help the leader of the synagogue who knocked because uh, his he had a child who was gravely ill. Um, all these people came and knocked. They asked for help, and we need to have that. We need to be <clears throat> able to be receivers who are seeking daily your help in our dilemmas and in our problems. So give us that faith to ask and to seek and to knock. In Jesus' name, amen.